Hi, I'm James Clark. I'm the co-founder of Room 214. I'm here with my friend Gail Van Gills. She's the founder of Transform Your Culture. Uh, welcome back, Gail. Thank you, James. Great to continue this conversation. Yeah, so we've talked about what is mindfulness, uh, the importance of mindfulness in the workplace, and now we're moving to something called mindful listening. And so what exactly is that and why is that important? Well, actually, I think that the skill of applying mindfulness to listening is probably the most important um, way that mindfulness can improve performance and the experience of both um, employees and clients in terms of the application of mindfulness. So basically the problem is that most of us spend more time paying attention to the stories in our head about what's happening or what we think is happening than to actually paying attention to what's being said to us. So mindful listening is training yourself to notice when you're telling yourself a story and be able to return fully to being with the person who's talking to you and giving them your full attention. And so in the same way that you notice when your mind wanders off of being with your breathing, when you notice that your mind has wandered into thinking, oh, I don't agree with that, or what am I going to say to that, or wanting to jump in, all those things that happen in our heads, which are times that we're not listening, because we can't be two places at once. We're in our head thinking those thoughts. That can be the trigger to come back and listen again. So basically, you give yourself permission to notice when you wander and when appropriate to be curious and ask questions and even maybe acknowledge I wandered off in the meeting or in the conversation in the conversation yes. yeah or it could be a meeting yeah I mean that's a pretty powerful moment of actually having saying hey I actually just wandered off a little bit what are we actually t talking about yeah I mean it's, it's a humbling moment yeah but particularly important if you have an action that comes out of the conversation. Mm -hmm. Because if you kind of try to push your way through it and, and pretend that you heard it, you may go off and do the wrong task. You may not do something that someone expects you to be doing. Or in terms of sales opportunities, you, you may be missing the very information that the client is giving you that will make you either get the sale or um, effectively meet their needs. Yeah, you know, when we were talking earlier, we were talking about a lot of times in mindfulness, we're thinking about ourselves. Um, and then a lot of times when we're, even in our business, when we're even pitching an idea, um, that idea is to start listening and stop selling. That's right. And so the selling comes from the listening of what the, how the client feels, reacts to it, why they're reacting to it, be able to ask those kind of questions rather than trying to say, we want to make sure that this was taken appropriately and it's totally understood and, um, and then defending our position all the time. People love to feel heard. So in terms of sales, actually the best thing you can do is be quiet and listen and let the person talk as much as they want and tell you their story. And then you won't need to sell because they're telling you what they need. And then you respond to them with, I hear you saying that you need this. Well, gosh, we have a solution for that. You don't have to sell a thing. They're telling you what they need. And the problem is if we come in with our own story about what we think they need, we may miss that opportunity. So this is true, of course, in selling, but also we're selling each other when we're having um, creative conversations. So it's the same kind of openness to really listen in a conversation could um, spark the creativity that you're hoping for in finding a solution for your client. Yeah, and just be able to ask the right questions. Mm -hmm. um, when you feel as if someone is listening to you, um, a lot of times it's like because they're asking questions that are very you know, appropriate and familiar and they're going deeper and then you feel good about that conversation. So you're actually giving, by mindful listening, you're giving them a gift. That's right. Essentially, of the presence and the deeper level of connection and, and conversation. Because sometimes you always get that thing where you're like, oh, I feel like I'm being sold to. It's more likely because you're not being listened to. It might be at the beginning of that. You've got it exactly. And that gift is the basis for trust. So it's, it's really a very, very important skill. 
and one that will take you really far in your career. That's a that's an awesome one. Just sit down and listen. Shut up and listen. Shut up and listen. All right. You yeah. got it. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, Gal. You're welcome. I appreciate that. Pleasure.